We're on the phone to Annabelle Yoxel, who is a very concerned parent um, regarding the funding, or lack of funding, should we say, for the schools in certain areas. Um, now, Annabelle has started her own petition and has uh, built some momentum all on her own, which is fantastic, but she has come to Crawley Happy Times to help out a little bit more and get the word out there. Um, now, Annabelle, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a, a mum of two, and I have two, two children in, um, in my local junior school. I'm a registered nurse as well, and obviously because with my children being um, school age, is something which which affects them, and it's um, just really important to me. Obviously, I'm in Wokingham, and it's the it's the lowest one. I heard about that, and I started looking into it, and I'm trying to get some background information about it. And I think the information that I've got in the petition, under more details, is, is from what I can tell, is the most current. So even that is. We're going back a little bit. There have been sort of um, campaigns to bring in this, this fairer funding policy, which is due to start next year. But um, the sort of general belief in the in the community is that although they may reduce some of the higher fundist areas, they're not necessarily going to increase the, the lowest. I mean, the, the gap, if they do bring down the highest ones, obviously the gap between the highest and the lowest won't be as much, so it's going to look better. But if they're not bringing up the lowest ones, then it's going to cause a lot of issues in the future. You know, it's already, it's, it's restricting resources and it puts more pressure on, on the staff. But I, I believe that they, they can't employ as many teachers as they, as they would like in the lower funded areas because they haven't got the, the funds to do that. So obviously that then is going to impact on the children. And it just makes me very cross. So what I've been trying to do is trying to spread the word and get it out amongst the lowest 10 because of the list with the, the lowest 10 funded areas. And I think if we can all, like, take a stand together on this, then we've got a good chance of getting our voices heard, really. Why is the funding not spread equally between the schools in the first place? Well, that's a good question. I'd, I'd like to know that, really. I mean, the highest ones seem to be in the in the London area, and I suppose you might expect them to have a, a little bit higher, but certainly not sort of like two thousand um, pounds per child each. It's just that's just ridiculous. It should be a fair system, you know. There should there should be a bit quality in this. Give give every child the opportunity to have a, a you know a reasonable education. If they're limiting if they're limiting the funds that they the lower ones are getting, then we're going to fall behind. I just think it's really important to get in there so that, so that Parliament know how strongly we feel about, about this and that, that so they don't ignore it because at the moment nothing's changing this year, nothing's, nothing's happening. It'll start being implemented next year. I, I just feel this is the time now to be, to be doing this. I, I don't think it's something that we can just, just leave 